I had to listen to you talk about DeMar DeRozan as if that's the only option the Pistons have. It's not. It's not what I said. Listen, go go to the back, grab some ear shit, whatever they call it. What are they called? Q-tips? Fix your ears, buddy. No, it's I was listening. I said. No, it worked. He's not the solution, and he's not the only solution. But you guys go find me a realistic trade option. Or somebody in – you want Grant Williams? You want Kelly Oubre? You want Brandon Ingram? Who, who is it? Devin so, Booker? Damian Lillard? Like, you tell me. Mikel Bridges, we both agree it's not going to happen. So my thing with DeMar is he's a one-year rental. I can extend him for a second year if I want to. I don't have to. That money's going to be available to me in 2024, so I can go and attack free agency again. I give Cade and Ivy another year of, you know, all the pressure isn't on you yet, kid. And I don't have any long-term commitments, plus I move off of Boyan and ideally Bagley, but I'll settle for Boyan and Hayes off the team. Okay, and, and that's, that's fair for your trade offer, but let me ask you this. And this is what I love about doing trades. This is NFL and NBA, all sports. Yep. Why are the Bulls taking that offer? Because Boyan and Killian Hayes. You know why? Because Boyan has three years left on the deal. Hayes, you can extend him with the bird rights option. And then DeRozan has one year left on his deal. Lonzo Ball may not ever play in the NBA true. again. True, yeah. And that, they that, need a guard. True. And they need a young guard. And to me, again. And Killian Hayes is that Where's guy. the incentive for Chicago? They save money. They get a good player, a good veteran in Boyan Bogdanovich. But Chicago knows they have to rebuild. But they know they can't trade Zach Levine. Who's eating $32 million? How do you make that money work? Mm-hmm. I think Detroit makes the money work. They can make the money work. I've seen it right. for DeRozan. So, yeah, that's why Chicago would accept it. I was just having this conversation with JB about Brandon Ingram. I'd love him. I'd love Jalen Brown. If I'm Boston and New Orleans, I don't pick up the phone. I laugh. It's not going to happen. And, and I like to compare it to uh, – if, if you, I try to look at other teams when I, when I look at what the Pistons have and try to compare it. It's not the same – but when you look at Boston when they had Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, they waited years for those guys to develop. But what did they go do? They, go in, they went out and traded for Kyrie Irving to, to kind of do the same philosophy you, yep. you're thinking of, of we'll get somebody we can depend on and it'll take some of the pressure off of uh, Tatum and Brown. And again, Kyrie Irving, personality-wise, isn't DeMar DeRozan. But the point is it didn't work out for the Celtics. And they well, ended up just rolling with their two because stars. Because Kyrie Irving's a crackhead, though. I get that. But for DeRozan, you, you just admitted he's not going to – you know, help this team win a championship, which I agree. He, he'll probably take Nobody them Nobody you trade uh, for right now is going to help absolutely. you win a championship. Everything depends on who you have with what you have with Cade and Jaden Ivey. So for me, you have Monty Williams, who's a coach who most recently has got to the NBA Finals. We know he's going to make this team better. I don't want to hinder their development with DeMar DeRozan. And, and the point I, well, I want to make about DeMar is DeMar can't play off ball. Like, that's, that's DeMar's. He, he's, a, he's an efficient player. He can't shoot threes, obviously. He doesn't attempt them. But even in Chicago, the ball was in DeMar's hands a lot. And that's how he's always played in the NBA. So if he comes to the Pistons. And he shoots 50% from the field. Absolutely. He gives you 26 a night. So he's going to spot up on the baseline? Like, where is he spotting up no. at? He can't but shoot threes. But is Boyan going to spot up for you? Marvin Bagley? Absolutely. Marvin Boyan Bagley? Will. Marvin Bagley. Killian uh, Hayes going to spot up for uh, you? Well, you know how I f- I'm a little different on Marvin Bagley. I don't think he should. Uh, you say absolutely. But Boyan, Boyan, yes. But we were robbed of the second year to even see how it would work with Cade. So I don't know how it would work. You're assuming it will. I don't want to assume. I don't want to pay him twenty million a year, and again. But I know. I know how many Bo-Yan twenty point scores shoot. are you going to have on this team this year, if you run back the same roster? I'd say one, one, maybe two, but one. Most who likely, would be the second. It would be Cade, and the other person maybe Ivy can bump his up. If not, maybe Bojan if he stays. But See, most likely, that's just a one. disaster. Just one. If I bring in Demar Derozan, I'm going to get twenty two a night, guaranteed. I'm going to get a closer, a guy that can help me finish games. A guy that can lead my team on and off the court. He's a pro's pro. Okay, one, of the the most well-spoken, yes. one of the most well-spoken, liked individuals in the NBA. DeMar DeRozan is a good human. Good to Absolutely. have for your locker room. Absolutely. Does he address the spacing needs? No, of course he doesn't. No, he I makes it that. worse, to be yeah, honest with you. It does. It does. you trade away you know Boyan what? in your package. But so. you know what? Of course. But Boyan was not the, the pillar of spacing this year for the Pistons. It was a fucking disaster. He was their best three-point shooter by far. He was their best three-point shooter. What is that saying on a, on a team that can't? Even Shoot if the you three ball well, it, that it, relies on Isaiah Stewart put, to hit threes, you, and Alec Burks. Well, here's the difference: if you put Boyan on uh, multiple different NBA teams, he's one of their best shooters immediately. It's not because of the situation. Boyan was the best shooter. He's a great. She's a forty percent three. A guy that shooter. jacked up seventeen again. I know Cade was injured, but and his role will be different with Monty. You know that too. I'm assuming it. It will be yes. 
but how much better and, am and I going to be? And here's the other part of it I didn't get to. The shooting's one thing, but DeRozan at the three, the biggest thing this team lacked, and we've been talking about it for months, is guys on the wing that can defend. Yep. DeMar is, what, 33. He can't defend, he can't shoot. I love DeMar, he's a great player, but the two biggest needs the Pistons need to address on the wing, he does not help. Shooting and perimeter defense. That's my concern. Because you're bringing in Bo, uh, excuse me, DeMar DeRozan, the spacing gets worse in your starting lineup, and now you have another guy who's not the same defender he once was. And he's 6'6", six, you're asking him to play the threes, I'm really a two. I'm only asking him to play for a year, and I'm giving but, up so Boyan Bogdanovich and Killian Hayes. But why even? For one year? It's like For one year. For a play-in I'm, appearance? It's, it's like, not about the play-in appearance. Is that worth it? I'm moving the money off my books. I got Boyan committed. He's on my books. He's not going anywhere. Right. Yeah, he's under contract. So, again, I'm... I've looked at all the possible trade packages, the money involved. Trading Bagley is going to be difficult. Trading Boyan's a lot easier. And you can actually add a good player to this roster. Who? I've looked. There aren't many options. So, yeah, you run back the same team, you're probably winning 24, 25 yeah, games. You're, you absolutely should run back the, the same team. I mean, they're, they're, you have but money. Again, I'm, I'm only coming from the perspective, Jeff, of I'm not thinking DeMar's the solution or he's the perfect fit. He, he doesn't address spacing. He doesn't play defense. I would say he's better than Boyan at playing defense. Right, but yeah. That's not what is saying that saying much. Yeah, what is that saying? But I just, this whole thing relies on Ivy and Cade reaching their potential mm -hmm. and being the ball-dominant guards we expect them to be. Yeah, DeMar isn't going to sit on the wing and just spot up, but DeMar is a smart player. He's going to pick his moments. He's going to know where he's just not involved in the offense. Mm -hmm. And when he'll take the ball and get you that extra bucket or bucket or two when a team is having a 6 7 8 10 0 run on you in the second quarter and the game's getting ahead of, or, or excuse me, away from you. That's what DeMar brings. And my counter to that would be would you rather have Jeremy Grant on a five year deal, paying him $30 million a year? I don't think you would. Well, the money is a different convo, but for fit, I'd rather have Jeremy Grant, absolutely. Uh, because I know Jeremy can defend. I know he can shoot. Like would you rather have on a one-year contract, DeMar DeRozan or Jim, uh, Jeremy Grant? Jeremy you would Grant. say Jeremy Grant, yes. and I would agree. Yes. But that's not his reality. No, he wants a long-term deal. So, again, realistically, what, what am I working with here? And, and here's the problem, too, that, that something that I didn't bring up, but it is real. Down the stretch in the fourth quarter, I'm assuming, and, and you may disagree, but I want the ball in Cade's hands, absolutely, or Ivy's hands, it, depending if he, he definitely improves and he takes care of the ball. I want it in those two guys' hands. That actually hurts the fit with DeMar DeRozan even more because down the stretch, DeMar gets taken out of it. He, he's not going to have the ball in his hands. Yes, you can call him. He's a closer, but Cade's the closer. Ivy should be that guy as well. DeMar then becomes a guy who you rely to hit spot-up threes, and he can't do that. So he basically gets taken out of the game plan. He just is a spot-up shooter. He can't shoot. So playing DeMar down the stretch as a bad defender who, who can't shoot is a problem. Like, you can't – I want the – Cade's the closer. He's shown the ability to do that. Ivy, I'm assuming as he gets better, you're going to want the ball in his hands as well. W then what's DeMar's role in that scenario? Like, closing games. Can you play him? You know, it's funny to me. Uh, is it okay that if you have Jeremy Grant on this team, he's the closer? Because he would be. But you don't have Jeremy an issue Grant with Jeremy Grant would be the closer? Yes, he would. No, he And he would was not. when he was here. You're looking at their roles when they were here. You are, you are assuming. Like Bojan last year won't much. be Bojan this you year. You are assuming way too much. I love Cade. Let him play a full season. Uh, let's get there first, okay? I have high hopes for him. Let's, let's get there first. But this floor spacing that we always talk about, I need my guards to also be accountable in that. True, yeah. Cade absolutely. and Ivy have to get better at shooting threes too. So, again, it's, this one year doesn't make or break the Pistons. But I'm not trying to run it back with Bagley coming off and playing significant minutes or even Boyan. He didn't play a lick of defense. And, yes, I would much rather have Cam Johnson or Mikel Bridges. The guys that can I, shoot. I would love that. That's not realistic. That's not what's available in the market. So, again, you, you guys tell me. I've heard all the names. None of them add a, uh, make any sense. Either, A, the teams won't do it. B, the money doesn't add up. Or, three, does anybody want Russell Westbrook? No. No. Does anybody want Brandon Ingram? Maybe. Are you willing to lose Ivy or Cade? Right. Because that's what it's going to cost. And no, you're not, you're not giving up those so, players. So, and, I don't and get I, it, man. And I get it. This is the period where we're all going to talk about different players. You have money available. You have assets. This is the free agency time where, where you look at other teams yeah, but you, and you think, think this right is how now, we get better. But you think but right now the Pistons can win 34 games. Fair? 
I think they can win at least 30 after free agency, assuming they address some, some needs. Uh, Not yeah, going out and getting a, a big-time star. I, if they I, just get, let, I let's say, Cam fair. Johnson. But I don't think that's fair. Why not? Because you're just saying, I'm assuming they spend the money. On who? What? Grant Williams? It's, it's not about... They're going to spend money. Let's not act like they're just going to close the free agency and run this thing like, I would love to know. But we're just assuming it's going to be the right players. And I'm giving you a legit solution that but, takes a ton of money off the books. Yes, but it's it's not the right fit, which is insane. It's inc- not the right inc- fit. That's important. Oh, my goodness. I, you just I went get through, it. and you just made the argument, Russell Westbrook? Why would you say no to Russell? DeMar DeRozan is not I'm, Russell I'm Westbrook. just saying, why Stop would you say it. no to Russell? He's a ball hog. He's not efficient from the field. And he can't and defend. He turns the ball over at a stupidly high rate. And he can't defend either. So uh, he's not a I great mean, defender. I mean, to be fair to him, he was a good defender. But he's getting older. He's 30, year, what, 32, 33 years old. So with Russell West, and again, I don't want Russell Westbrook. But with DeMar, he can't shoot, he can't defend, and the ball's going to be in his hands. It's not that DeMar like, can't shoot. Well, when we say play, three, wait, it's he not, can't no, no, no. shoot three. When we say DeMar can't shoot, that means he takes four, five threes a game and shoots 29 to 30% from the three. That's what can't shoot means. He doesn't shoot the three. That's there's a big difference because he's he takes one a game because he's a mid range player. He's a guy that can get to his spot and attack the basket. It's fine. I again I said from the beginning it doesn't address spacing. That's but the it's biggest way, need on this team. How do you just yep, coast through that? Well, I'm it doesn't address co- spacing. I'm not coasting through it. I'm giving you all the other pros that come along with Demar Derozan. Leadership and you're is simply, all you got. And you're simply pushing it away because he's not a three and D guy or that he won't address certain needs like I. Again, you tell me you're Monty Williams. I want to run back Hamadou Diallo. Can't no, shoot. No. Killian Hayes. Can't shoot. Marvin Bagley. Can't shoot. Wiseman. I don't even want to play Wiseman. I mean, then, it's just potential and at And then this you want to add DeMar DeRozan in that mix? No, I want to get and rid get of away all this. Get rid of Bojan? I want to get, yes. Who's your best shooter? Again, I, I think you're being very you're nice. I think you're being very nice about Bojan. No, it's I think it's you're really overlooking nice. what he did last year. Honestly, I really do. What do you okay for me? I'll I'll speak for myself. Bojan, what do I expect him to be? I expect him to be a damn good role player offensively. He can't defend, but he's still going to be a great spot up shooter. He shot what almost forty percent last year from three. So for for Bojan's sake, great fit. I'm cool with it. This team needs more guys who can defend. That's the problem. And Demar can't defend and can't shoot threes. Excuse me. Great for mid range. But I don't want a guy who can spot up and shoot mid-range shots, especially late in games when the ball's going to be in Kay and Ivy's hands. You talk about them, you need them to be you know, at least suitable from three, and I agree with that. But they still need to real, a- at least have, you know, there's going to be moments where they're going to have to depend on other teammates to hit shots from three. Yeah, They can't just take all of them. So with DeMar, he can't do it. So uh, y- yeah, but you just watched just, Miami only, last night with Jimmy Butler. You're taking DeMar DeRozan, and you're saying, I don't like you because I can't put you in the corner. Or on the elbow, and just you stand there and shoot the three ball. And I'm telling you, that's fair. Or he doesn't even have that ability. Well, he does just, it's not his game. It's not what he does. It's not his game. And I agree. That's fine. But I'm looking at instant impact. I get money off the books. I get players I don't even want on the team next year. And maybe you like Boyan way more than I do. He wouldn't be in my starting five if I was starting. No, he doesn't have to be. Well, that's the point. He's going to be on your starting five this year, and you're going to roll out Ivy, Cade, Boyan, some player. Why does he okay. and Duran? Why are you kidding me? Why? Why does Who Boyan? The hell, on this team is a better option so than Boyan. You, you look at okay, so at least that's you're giving credit to Boyan, but uh, no, look that's at the look at free agency. Okay, I know there's no big time free agent. There's only James Harden, Kyrie. These guys, you're not no, no, signing no, no. role players. Guys. Role players. Jay Crowder would be a great. This he played whole with Monty team Williams. is role players though. Jay, that you have two guys you think will be super or all star superstar talents. That's two years from now. Exactly. So uh, you want them to grow. You don't want anybody to hinder that so development. That, you're I, we, telling you me we're not going to win. You complained about Jeremy Grant for that exact same reason. Why does this guy always have the ball in his hands? Yes. He's hogging the ball. Yes. You think Demar would come here and say, "All right, guys." And what happened when Jeremy this Grant took team. a step back? He had thrived in the second half of the season. So you think Demar? I is think gonna, Demar, at 34 w- years old, turning 35. I think Demar, with a year left, is willing to come to a situation and say. I'm only going to take 12, 13, 14 shots a game. I'm going to pick my spots. I may not be the spacing solution, but I'm going to teach these guys how to practice. I'm going to teach these guys how to become stars in the NBA because once upon a time, DeMar was a star. I, he I was. Just, to me, I'd ra- much rather have him than Boyan Bogdanovich. It, but That's the, what it comes down it, to. It, it scares and me. And it doesn't fit. Fine. It doesn't fit. Especially and he won't stand there and shoot the ball. 
fine. Especially if you have Durin. So you have Durin and Damar who both can't well, shoot. Well, again, we're being bullish on the rotations here. I'm trying to find a suitable rotation. Your solution of keeping Boyan and going out in free agency doesn't fix that either, man. Because you're going to have Kate what? Ivy, who are not proven three-point shooters yet, on the court with mm -hmm. Jalen Dern, who for the most part is going to attack the rim, stay in the paint, or come out for the pick and roll, and yep. he won't pop because he can't shoot. And then you're going to have Boyan Bogdanovich, who I'll give you, can space and be a shooter. And then who? Your fifth overall pick that you'd want to be a role player his first year, not a starter? Yeah, I don't think the fifth overall pick, uh, assuming, I don't know if he'll start. So he, he might come off your bench. But there's still options in free agency, guys that can hold down the four, that can shoot. Even if you want to play him at the three, Jay Crowder can play the three or the four. Uh, I know you don't like Grant Williams, but even Grant Williams could be a suitable role player. There's guys that can come in and, and play the role and embrace the role, can shoot and defend. That's what I'm looking for. That was the biggest, really, two things the Pistons lacked on the wing. I don't want to go get a player like DeMar, who's talented, but hurts the two things I'm looking for. Shooting, spe specifically from three, and a guy who can defend on the wing. He can't do any of those. So there's my problem. It's not that I don't like DeMar. In Chicago, he's shooting 34% from three. On how many Gra attempts? Granted, it's only two attempts a game. But, I mean, it's still 34%. It's not like he's a... It's more about volume for me. Like, one three a game. Th this team was what... Yeah, but you're, you're taking, which I agree with you, and I, tell me I'm wrong, please. You're taking Cade Cunningham and Jaden Ivey two years from now, and what they hopefully will be, which is ball-dominant playmakers, can get to the basket anytime they want. They would have developed their mid-range and three-point game. There will be much better th free-throw shooters. And then it's about, okay, how do I create space? And then when the de defense collapse, how do I make them, how do I punish them, right? Is that fair? Mm -hmm. but that's two years away. The closest you would get to there is 2024. That's if everything goes right in development. But that... If I'm Monty Williams, I'm not trying to run back a 24-26 win team. You're not, and then i got to look at my bench and see Hamadou Diallo and Killian you Hayes. Keep, you keep saying running it back. They're not running back the same roster. You're saying that. It hasn't happened. They haven't ma signed anybody. And who are they going to sign? And I always ask that same question. And everybody kind of just like no, throws it, out some generic names like a because a nobody Jake. Because there's no big-time marquee guy that would fit well, that's available. What if you, I told you, you that they went out and got R.J. Barrett? Because that's a name that Troy Weaver absolutely loves. Uh, but Is that a fit? I, mean, I he, don't he think can't so. Really shoot either. So, but, okay. But that's who Troy Weaver public. I wouldn't say publicly, but behind the scenes, everybody is saying he's looking at R.J. Barrett. That's who he's in love with. And I know you brought up, uh, you brought up a couple players that again, I uh, there's you could bring up players, but we don't really know if any of these guys are available. Even Brandon Ingram, who knows if he's actually even available. But Paul George, I don't think he's available. But if we're just talking player to player, you can't argue he's a better fit than Demar Derozan. You can't argue it. He's a better defender, and he's a, he's a great three-point shooter. So in that instance, if we're just going off fit, that's where, for me, with DeMar DeRozan, especially you're looking at what they're going to do this year. DeMar DeRozan's I played 74 and 80, 80 games the last okay, two years. Okay, missing games. A Paul concern. George I'm talking is a liability. Fit. I'm talking fit. fit. He shoots 30, what? He's shooting, I can't numbers. even see it. He shot 35% first year from three, 37%. Second year. On how many attempts? He attempted, I'm giving you it, eight and seven a game. See? So he's a high-volume shooter. Right. I'll give you that. That's fair. So I'll give you that. And here's my problem. We both agree you want Caden Ivey to develop as fast as they can, reach their, their ceiling as fast as they can. But I don't want to surround them with garbage either. Well, it's not about – that's what last year was. I, but, it's again, it's not the same team. You're saying surround them with garbage. Troy's not looking at this offseason saying, you know what? Let's run this thing back. They he was they, before they, they hired Monty Williams. No, they weren't. They were, they, they were never going to run this same team back. They, they have money to spend. Go get guys that are, number one, professionals, veterans, but again, that can shoot and that can defend on the wing. That's what they need. It, it's clear as day. We all watch the Pistons. Troy knows it better than any of us. So for DeMar DeRozan, I get where you're coming from. Tell me the names. DeMar could be available. I understand that. You got to be careful here because I know it's just one year, but I don't want to risk anything setting them these guys, a Cade and Ivy, back one year. I have because Bagley. If, let's say Demar comes Bagley here. I have Bagley and Boyan on the books for multiple years. That's worse to me. But at least they're not going to command the basketball like Demar Derozan. Let's say you okay, you trade for Demar I mean, we're, Derozan. We're assuming let, let, Demar Derozan is Russell Westbrook when he's not. That's not his personality. Okay. He's a totally different basketball but player. You, but that, that, speaking of assuming, more you're IQ. assuming that DeMar would take no, a I've role if he him. came to Detroit. No, I, I, I haven't seen it. Uh, okay, he, wait. He's, been, he's, he's been, 34 years old. He's got one year left on his deal. 
Chicago has no leverage, and neither does he. Either he's going to go to a shit contender, or he's going to have to go take this mentor role. That's not me assuming. That's just his reality. Mm -hmm. Who's going to trade for him? The Lakers, they can't afford him. They can't even afford getting a Kyrie Irving. Right. So I... My question is, if you trade for DeMar... Yep. And it doesn't go as planned. Let's what, say they, what does doesn't go as planned? Let's mean? say they win 38, 40 games. I'd be and, happy and with that. Cade and Ivy, Cade and Ivy, they don't what? take the step forward that we expected because Demar comes in. He needs his ball usage. He's going to need the ball in his hands. Like, and, and it, it hinders Ivy and Cade. Is it worth? Now, I think it to the you? coach is really fucking up. So you blame the coach now? I would hundred percent look at Monty <laughs> Williams. I'm You're not going to blame the coach now. It's not about blaming the coach. Because Demar Derozan, who you knew was ball dominant, comes to your team and can't shoot, and it hinders the development, oh, and no, you're going to blame no, the coach. No, 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 no. Because if I'm making the move for Demar Derozan, it's under the ex expectation that he is not going to be the ball dominant player he was in Chicago. Instead of getting 17 a game, I'm expecting him to get me 13 shots a game. 14. Pick your spots. Oh, he can the pick his spots. The offense is going to run through Jade and Ivy and Cade Cunningham. Don't get me wrong. And we're going to assume these guys are always going to be out on the court together. That's not true either. Cade's going to get 32 minutes. Ivy's mm -hmm. going to get 32, 33 minutes. Same for DeMar DeRozan. There's going to be 10, 12 minutes a game where they're going to be off the court. And one of them or two of them are going to be in on. that instance when they're off the court. Demar's in. That's great. And Demar can but pick his spots. What's your closing lineup? Your closing lineup. Tell in it that to scenario me. would be Cade Ivy. Uh huh. Demar Derozan. You'd probably go for Isaiah Stewart because he can space and shoot. And then I don't know what you do with the fourth spot, and that's the biggest problem. Is I don't know who you're going to sign. So, assuming Durant. I don't want Diallo on the court. I don't want Wiseman. I don't want two bigs on the court. That would be a disaster. Okay, let me ask you this. Okay, so if you're cl if you're closing a game and you got Cade, yeah, Ivy, Demar Derozan, Isaiah Stewart, when you say closing Stewart, a game, it's as if like I'm expecting this team to be like a legit content. No, you got to be able to close games. I'm Adam. asking it's not about for winning is, a bunch of games. I want to take a step forward instead of teaching Cade and me Ivy too. how to win 18 games a year. I want to show them that this is the way to get to 32, and then eventually 40, and then 48. You think Monty can do that? I think Monty can do that. I think Monty needs help, though, in the first year. Absolutely. It's a horrible roster. He's talent. But is DeMar that guy? Is for he the year, talent they need? For a year, to me, it's no risk. At No risk is a stretch. To say there's <laughs> no risk I, with DeMar DeRozan is absurd. I think you're absurd. selling DeMar short. I really do. A Adam, if you have to – let's say they failed to close a lot of games last year. And let's say that that changes. You have DeMar this year. If you have DeMar and Duran in your starting lineup and you throw Isaiah Stewart out there, let's just say hypothetically – I would never do that, though. And I just told you that. I would so never have them both. I would never have two bigs on the court at the same time. It let's would be just a say, fucking disaster. Okay, let's just say you have Stewart, DeMar, and a IVK. free agency signing. Okay, we're at, at the Who's board. a 3 and D guy? Yes. I think that works. So you have one guy who can hit threes. Isaiah Tech, Stewart again. I think you're just giving, consistently. You're Cade, taking accountability is, away completely no, from Jaden and Ivy it's not about, and Cade Cunningham to be able to make a, sh a shot a game. It's not about taking accountability away. Those guys need guys they can depend on. I can't to ask. To close a game. Yes. To close a game. Ivy Cade can get to the basket. Mm -hmm. So can Demar. They have mid range potential. Isaiah Stewart can go and be a stretch four, and your three and D guy is going to make space. You, that that basket is going to be available for you to attack. Whether it's Demar, Kate, or Ivy, if you go small, now if the opposing team has a problem, or let's say they have a shot blocker like a Rudy Gobert out in the court, that's that's going to cause you some problems, right? Because the defense doesn't have to collapse. Mm -hmm. So then it, you're just relying on your individual talent, and that's where Demar Derozan really helps you because he'll pull a Jimmy Butler, he'll s stop short and shoot up a 12, 10 footer, and it will work. So he'll be I, a ball stopper is what you're saying. And that's your argument. You're talking to close the game, though. <laughs> We're talking like, to close the game. I, I, I just – okay. May, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe okay. I'm crazy. And here's, okay, think of this scenario, okay? It, it's, it's fourth quarter down the stretch. Like you said, you have a shot blocker. The paint isn't open. Yep. So you have Isaiah Stewart and DeMar Post spotted up for three. You have Ivy as well. Cade has the ball. We're just Look at the options No Cade one's has. allowed to shoot a mid-range shot anymore in the closing moments? You know, it's such a reliable but option. Miami won last Jayden, night because of their ability to hit threes. But that's how their team is Jokic, constructed. The Nuggets. The and nuggets, how's it working for them? Jeff. How's it working Jeff, for them? Jimmy Butler is how many years into the NBA? But you just, Nikola Jokic yes. and Jamal Murray, how many years? But Jimmy, We're but, talking about year three Cade and J year two Ivy. But Jimmy Butler is somebody who, like DeMar, isn't the greatest three-point shooter. He takes more, but what did they do with Jimmy and Bam? Surrounded them with shooters yes, everywhere. because they're ready to win. They the wouldn't Pistons go out and trade not. for DeMar. They the wouldn't Pistons, do it. Of course not. Because they know it would hit. Like, for, for the Pistons, you need shooters. Why DeMar? 
Like, why is he the guy? The only argument you have that I think works is he's a veteran. He can teach them how to win. That's fair. But you can go get that out of a lot of guys. Like, fit on the court? That's, that's where you lose me, especially trying to close games. I, I, I don't know, man. If I don't you know. watch the same Ivy, Cade Cunningham, we, me, not in Ivy. his rookie year, he was a, his ability to close games was showed immediately. He was the guy they went to late in games, and it worked. Now, they only won, what, 15, 16 games that year, 20 games. But still, he was the guy that closed a lot of those games. He wasn't there last year. So we're going to get DeMar DeRozan, Cade. It's going to be like the Spider-Man meme pointing at each other. Yep. Who's closing this game? And DeMar can't play a role like that, where he's like, all right, Kate, take it over. I'll be here when you need me. He'll be posted up at the baseline. Like, <laughs> when Ivy's explosive as he is driving to the basket, DeMar's right next to him. Like, all right, spacing, spacing, spacing. It's what I, they need. I've said all I can say. <laughs>